We've cleared about 70% of streets in the city of Buffalo after this historic storm. Today, our snow fleet, along with other crews, continue their work to clear the roads in the city. A driving ban remains in effect in the city of Buffalo. We are asking for motorists not to drive in the city so that crews can safely uh, finish their work, safely for motorists and pedestrians, and safely for the crews that are working. Our goal is to get plowing done today. Uh, we are looking to opening up the city tomorrow. Again, as you know, this was a historic storm, probably uh, the worst storm that the city has seen in over 50 years, and perhaps, maybe, the worst storm in recorded history uh, since these storms have been tracked. Buffalo, again, was ground zero for the storm conditions. The worst of everything hit in the city of Buffalo. We are now down to less than 450 residents without power in the city of Buffalo. Our Department of Public Works continues to work strategically with National Grid to get them to locations where they need to be to be able to restore power. And we won't quit, we won't stop working until 100% of our residents have their power restored. Had the very difficult task of recovering. Um, the work that they are doing is, is nothing short of grueling. And let me stress that, how grueling that this is. They have personally recovered and transported 28 storm-related deaths. They have also personally transported uh, another, uh, at least a dozen or more uh, people who have passed away by natural deaths that normally would not fall under the, uh, the, the responsibility of the police department with funeral directors who are unable to get in and to handle those. The, the stores, the shelves, the cash registers, things have absolutely been destroyed. It's uncalled for. It's disgusting, to be personally honest. Um, we have made nine arrests yesterday alone. We have the identities of, of a host of other people that were involved in looting activities. I've had multiple conversations with the District Attorney, John Flynn. We will be prosecuting burglary charges on those that entered and remained unlawfully and committed crimes within these stores. We have made arrests. We will make arrests. I Unfortunately, we net can confirm from the Erie County Department of Health there have been 34 fatalities. Uh, we have additional fatalities since the ones we announced yesterday. We have confirmed that 26 of the individuals were recovered in the city of Buffalo. Seven were recovered in the suburbs uh, between Chictawaga, Depew, and Amherst and one is unknown. We're still trying to uh, determine where that uh, individual was found. So we have an increase. Uh, so the, the power outages are down to less than 1,000. I talked to the president of National Grid's regional office, Ken Kujawa, this morning. Uh, they're hoping that they would have about 95% of that 840 done by the end of today. So they're shooting for 100%. But they, they're, they're right now, they think they'll have at least 95%, and they're shooting for 100% restored today. Uh, EMS task services are being responded to.
Uh, I also want to know or a note that the EMS task force is going door to door doing wellness checks at locations of calls they could not get to during the blizzard. So if it came into the 911 call center and uh, it, it's determined that they could not get there, they are doing wellness checks at those locations. And also, this is a very important thing because I think people are going to be a little surprised when a member of the National Guard walks up and knocks on their door because the National Guard started a mission today at 930 in which they are going door to door to do wellness checks in the neighborhoods that lost power every house so if your neighborhood lost rest for the weary we're also focused on the potentials for uh, a rapid melt we've consulted with the national weather service we are focused uh, with regards to the potential for flooding but we feel very comfortable. We've had a great conversation with the governor's office. We've also talked with the Homeland Security and emergency services from the state. We have an ample supply ready to go, ready to be deployed with personnel in the event that we, we have some type of flooding. But we feel very comfortable. We've put a